The country of Poland was founded more than a thousand years ago. Poland's size has changed many times, but today the country, which is only slightly smaller than the state of New Mexico, is bordered by Germany, the Baltic Sea, Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, the Czech Republic, and Slovakia. The country was a home to different ethnic groups for hundreds of years, including Germans and Jews from across Europe. Jews first arrived in Poland in the 13th century because they were being treated unfairly in some Western European countries. Here, they had the right to practice their religion, own property, and make their own laws. Over time, more Jews left Western Europe to live in Poland. Jewish people were a minority, or a small group, in Poland. Many lived in small villages called shtetls. Farmers, business people, and professionals lived and worked in Poland's shtetls and prayed in the village synagogues. But on September 1, 1939, Nazi soldiers from Germany brought life in the shtetls to a quick and violent end. The Nazis wanted to kill people that they considered racially inferior. They targeted Slavs, mentally ill people, and especially Jews. When the Nazis invaded Poland, they forced Polish Jews to leave their homes and live in small neighborhoods called ghettos, away from other Polish people. The Jews lived in the ghettos until Hitler's Nazi soldiers sent them to die in concentration camps. In some ghettos, people fought against the Nazis. Members of the Jewish fighting organization in Warsaw tried for four weeks to protect themselves from being sent to concentration camps. The battle that became known as the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising was one of the few open rebellions against the Nazis in Europe. The rebels fought bravely, but the Nazis defeated them. 7,000 Jewish rebels were killed, and 15,000 were taken to concentration camps and killed along with millions more. By the end of World War II, the shtetls were long gone. But today, there are survivors who still call Poland their home. Poland's Jewish population has survived for hundreds of years. Even though their community is very small now, these people remember the horrors of the past and live for the hopes of the future.